<laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to the Mario Brothers. As you can see, we are once again in the French Alps, Courchevel, Morionde, and we have a fantastic uber luxury chalet, chalet vacos to show you here. And wow, I've taken quite a few runs here. This is the Belvedere Piste that leads directly to your ski in and ski out ultra luxury modern chalet. Seven bedrooms, 14 guests, 560 square meters of area, five floors, private swimming pool, jacuzzi, cinema room, I mean everything. And we're here thanks to Consensio Chalets, your top luxury ski holiday operator for the French Alps. And wow, I'm a little bit out of breath, but let's start the tour, taking the stairs down to the ski room. And later I'm gonna make more use of this. What a luxury to have this in your private chalet. Let's enter into the ski room. Come on guys. All right, magically I have taken off my jacket and put on really warm slippers. Now this is the ski room and I just, I love it. I'm a skier and a snowboarder. So I just imagine coming here, taking your skis off, walking down the stairs, putting your skis there, warm up your boots, get yourself a nice water. You've got little tissues here, water, sunscreen. They've taken care of everything. Thirsty, take a sip of water. You've got these amazing hand warmers, by the way. You open it up and it heats up. You put it in the pocket, boom. And a little office space for those unfortunate ones who still have to work. Now guys, let me quickly explain where we are. Courchevel, Morillon. We are just here. So theoretically, we were told by one of the hosts, of which there are so many in this chalet, because this chalet is only uh, taken care of by a concierge service, which is super extensive. You can take the lift, ski all the way over to Val Torrance. It is quite a mission, but it is doable. I think Patrick, you and I, one day we should do that. Yeah, because this is our, our skiing area usually. Yeah. Valteron, Valteron. Our skills were learned here when we were kids. Now guys, quickly, at the beginning I said we have five floors. The ground floor is where there is a garage, swimming pool, TV room, we'll come to that last. We're now on the first floor where we have three bedrooms. So let me show them to you. So this is the first floor landing. We have an elegant staircase cladded with wood and decorated walls going up or down. We also have an access point with the elevator here, which takes you to all four floors, except of the master bedroom, which is on the fifth floor. Now here, three stunningly decorated bedrooms. Let's start with bedroom number one. You get to see how stylishly decorated uh, these bedrooms are. To be honest, the entire chalet, Chalet Bacchus, which is a Roman god of wine, that's what the chalet is named after. We've got the wooden panel clad on the wall as well as on the ceiling, nice bed framing. The color combo is fantastic. And this chalet is so consolidated when it comes to style and design. And Consensio is your top luxury ski holiday operator. Now this one sink vanity from Villeroy and Boch is elegant. You've got the drawers right underneath, complimentary. Of course, you get all the accessories you need, hair dryer, shampoos, etc. Lovely tiling on the wall here. Axor tabs and fittings here. Of course, you're fully fitted out with your gel showers, etc. And you also have a bathtub which window opens up onto the outdoor area, which to be quite honest, would love to show you guys real quick. Now look, it's nicely snowed in. This is the front of the house. You're looking at the mountains and of course all the greenery with the snow covering it, stunning setting and your further bedrooms that also have the access point out to this terrace. They called it the cooling off patio. So when you come out of the sauna, you can actually just stand there and enjoy the freshness and cool your body temperature. Now let's continue. Now, before we leave the first bedroom, let me quickly point out that we have a toilet here. And of course also your drawers, 
and cupboards here and I just quickly want to open one up. Got indirect lighting, black wood and these are just amazing, the handles. Just love it. It's a lot of fine little details throughout the entire chalet that make it, makes it very luxurious in my understanding. Now, nice artwork as well, more wood. We have bedroom number two, let's quickly look. This bedroom features a twin bed. Once again, the style and design is throughout. I think the color coding changes depending on the bedrooms. Obviously, you also have a little desk to work at. Sad for those who still do when I come on a little holiday here, but that's the access point out to the terrace I've shown you before. Here we have the ensuite bathroom. Once again, the one sink vanity, a bathtub, the window opening to the stunning views that are just unfolding outside. And of course, your toilet here and your shower there with the same fittings from Axor that I have previously explained and a towel warmer. I really like that they have both options of a bathtub and a shower. Yeah, a natural stone on the flooring. It's just, it's very clean, the style, but super luxurious. I like it a lot. What do you think? The same. Yeah? Yeah, 100% I like the, the wood color. Last bedroom on this floor? Last Let's one. have a look. Now, once again, a stylish bedroom. There's nothing you can say wrong about it. You've got a big bed frame here, a twin a bed setup. And what I've realized in the chalet, there is an entire uh, wallpaper layout on the walls, which is sort of material. How would you call that, Patrick? Yeah, like a fleece kind of. Yeah, a fleece wallpaper, which just adds Warm more warmth. Yeah. And I like the color coding of these rooms a lot, to be honest. And you see, you have like designer lamp fixtures everywhere. It just, it's a different type of chalet to what we have seen so far, which is refreshing. Here we have uh, the toilet with the same fleece wallpaper and of course your shower bathroom area with an elegant two sink vanity. Once again, Villaroy and Boch taps and fittings underneath with a floating drawer set up with your towels, a black bathtub more porcelain here book matched we have one more room to show you let's go this is the elevator landing once again we have this textured wallpaper throughout adding warmth and it works really well with the art so someone with a good eye for it has actually come in and designed it throughout now here we have your massage room we have a one sink vanity set up here and yeah generally speaking nice lighting installed here which gives this room the sort of atmosphere you're looking for when you want to get squeezed. And yeah, this very interesting backdrop here with a lot of texture. Right, that was it. Now, just as a resume, we had three ensuite bedrooms, the massage room and of course the ski room. And that is the elegant staircase with the wavy railing art that's being displayed on the textured wallpaper, nice, light fixtures, indirect lighting as well on the stairs. Beautiful. Let's go. Now, obviously everything looks super new in the chalet. It has been finished in 2021. So it is a fresh nugget. That's the elevator, the landing. One floor below here, we had the massage room. So basically the layout is quite similar, but in this case, it's just a toilet. And the painting goes so well with the color theme of everything. Anyways, let's continue because we have three bedrooms here. Let's start off with this bedroom. Let's go. I love it. So stylish. And my brother picked up something that I did not. And that is that all the tissue boxes are the indicators of the color theme throughout the bedrooms. As you can see, there are different tonations of the same color going on here in this bed. Got a nice bed framing. Even the painting here has hints of pink. It's just fantastic how there are little notes and scents of colors throughout. And most importantly, you also have this chair, which is just, you know, as bright in color as it gets. Now let's have a quick look into the bathroom here. We have a one sink vanity set up here. Villaroy Boch sink, nice taps and fittings, drawers right underneath. Of course, a bathtub with a view out to the mountains and here, Behind the pocket door, we have a toilet, nicely wallpapered as well. It has 
everything a toilet should have and here we have the shower nice with the porcelain clad of course we also have here the cupboards that i would like to quickly show you voila indirect lighting enough space for you to hang your things a little working desk and most importantly those kind of views and a stunning setting for a terrace let me show it this is nice and you get to wake up every morning see the snow flocking down at the far end you've got the mountains with the trees covered just an idyllic view so ah, just love it this is the door that leads to the fifth bedroom now spoilers ladies and gentlemen this is the bedroom i'm going to be sleeping in i chose it because i like the color combo of the space cushioning on the bed frame here as well as the wallpaper look how they position this stunning piece of art that once again as patrick said before flows with the entirety of the color palettes and here as patrick has so nicely pointed out before even the tissue box matches indirectly with the pillows as well as uh, the other painting as well as this little ottoman under your working desk mind blown even the recessed and lighting is in a hollow ink casing so it's not super direct giving you a nice lighting and once again you've got that view out to mother nature and here little section inwards cupboards drawers underneath of course the soft clothes like the black wood they've chosen up. yeah here pocket door leads you into your bathroom look at the paneling with the lighting that we have you're seeing that now or in the detail shot you have that throughout so you have these fancy buttons to push it's now behind a wallpaper a yeah, no window, window. no I it's just the windows because you know, for me, renting a place, the key, one of many points, would be to have a window in the bathroom. I couldn't agree more, especially as I know you, brother. So I know how important that is. Not just for yourself, but for anyone living in the house. Now we have a porcelain backdrop here, once again in a fishbone pattern, axe or taps and fittings. A uh, two sink vanity setup, the same natural stone backsplashed here as in the shower, big mirror setup, elegant lighting, drawers right underneath, indirect lighting there as well. They're very spacious. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest ones. But I also think it's the first one without a bathtub. True. Which could be good for me. I don't like bathtubs. I heard that, bro. Yeah. I was just like, I don't like bathtubs. Right. Supposedly, you're supposed to do a bath once a month to yeah. detoxify yourself Apparently. exactly you never really know whatever floats your bottom whatever makes you feel good now this would be the last bedroom and then on the last and highest level we have the master let's just look at this section here the open shelving the decoration put into this bedroom of course indirect lighting here's your entire cupboards and drawers and more like yellow mustard yeah 100 look at the yeah. the tissue book box books the tissue box is always the key indicator of the dominant color but it's not really dominant but the color code and look really nice with the, wood. the pillow outer stitching is also in the mustard color and the pillows are really nice got little penguins, penguins on it this matches this I know it's amazing and we've got this mustard cushioned chair here and detailing in the painting it's just fantastic and right here ladies and gentlemen that is the staircase I took down after I came from the Belvedere Pist here in Courcheval and even this bedroom gets to enjoy Pist views which yeah. you know not all of them do or you can just you know Put on your skis here and just march off. Dude, 100%. Here and go. And you just come with your skis shooting through into your... Yeah, you bed. come here, do a backflip. You know how you and I do it and enter. We also have these blackened beams. This entire outer facade of the house, as you've seen in the beginning, has more of a blacker themed exterior. 
and blackout curtains, which are woven into the main curtains. So they're not separated like in most homes. And a quick look into the bathroom, which as always is in the same style and design with the one sink vanity set up here and a bathtub just there. I already spoke about the toilet there, so I'm not going to show it. I would say, let's go upstairs and show you the living room area, which is gorgeous. Let's go. For this, I'm going to be taking the elevator, which is in this blackish colored theme. No, black. Yeah, it has a little bit of, of polished metal in it as well. It's polished metal colored black. Exactly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the elevator. And the elevator, not surprisingly, is also very elegant. See you upstairs. upstairs. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this is your living room area. It kind of feels like a penthouse up here floating above the tree line. Although on that side, it looks like it. When we're going there, you'll see that we are actually on the same level as the pist. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a massive fur dinkum dinner table here two four six twelve fourteen guests which makes sense you have seven bedrooms fourteen guests so everyone can be nicely seated here the stylish chandelier lamp fixture dangling down from the polished wood and the vaulted ceiling and once again you probably have seen a lot of our chalet tours until now the beams usually are more organic looking, whereas in this chalet they've polished it, giving it a clean look, which distinguishes this chalet to all the other ones. It's the clean, the cleanness, -ness? How, how do you say that? Slick. Slick. It's clean. Cleanness -ness of the chalet. This would be your gathering social area, the living room with the couches, two, two big coffee tables. I mean, you guys must be thinking I'm like a super talented musician because I've played the piano. I did indeed, didn't I? Right, we also have in this living room area an extended outwards terrace from which you can enjoy the views. Eat al fresco as well in your little table there or simply enjoy some sun when it comes out. That's a TV setup, by the way. That's been nicely disguised as a picture frame. We've got more open shelving there. And most importantly, this entire area here, which is your bar area. Now remember that when you book your seven day minimum stay with Consensio Chalets, you get the full on concierge service. Meaning the bar you see here, you choose whatever you want from it. You wanna make a cocktail? Cocktail will be made. You will have a chef, you'll have an assistant manager, many hostesses, a chauffeur that drives you on a four by four car. Seven members will be taking care of every simple needle you might have, which is pretty cool. And this is the bar area. So pop the champagne and get the party going. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. It looks like in a five-star hotel. This really is up to ski now. Yeah. Cannot be closer to the piss and have a bar. Your own bar. And now look at the meshed backdrop here in the open shelving with the glass. No, but how nice it is. We've got a coffee machine here. Dishwasher's currently on. The light fixtures in this tube form here, dangling down. I mean, this is pretty unique, I have to say. But before we leave that space, wait, we also have the kitchen there. Should we show the kitchen real quick? I think we should. Patrick, should we? No? This is where the chef will be making. It's true, but... Patrick, you and me, we like to make our morning breakfast. I don't want no chef to do it. The breakfast I'll do myself. We also have an omnidirectional fireplace, by the way. Kitchen. 
Now, the chalet is called Chalet Bacchus. Bacchus was the Roman god of wine, hence this elegant display and wine cooler we have right here. And you'll be getting some of these goodies to drink when you book your stay here for a minimum of a week. I mentioned the omnidirectional fireplace. We're going to get nice and warm at night sitting in front of it. And we also have uh, the terrace area that I would like to show you before we head on to the main bedroom of the chalet. Let's go. Oh yeah, baby, jacuzzi. Can you, Patrick and I, we're gonna jump into that baby tonight when it gets really cold. Hopefully it'll start snowing. We're gonna be sitting there. Blah, 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 blah. Awesome. This terrace also has various seating possibilities, a little dining table there to enjoy your breakfast maybe or some coffee or whatever you want to do here. And best of all, we are on the same level as the Piste Belvedere, which I explained earlier. So you could theoretically stop there, call one of the hostess to throw you a beverage or a sandwich and then continue skiing or make these snowballs and wait for someone to come and just go. We have one bedroom left, which is the main bedroom right above. Let's look at it. Right, last bedroom, come on. And the last bedroom, which of course, it's also the biggest bedroom, vaulted ceiling. If you just look at the bed framing here, how big it is, it's taller than me, it's probably your height, Patrick. And it has a color combo that is very mixed. Wardrobes here carpet laid out nice wallpaper art displayed those are duck feet lamps just quite exquisite the head is the light the head's gone but yeah super nice and here a cozy ensuite bathroom here we have the black porcelain very nice even the sinks look whiter than the ones we have seen so far and of course two mirror setups bathed up there and here the toilet and of course your shower which is right here nice in black and this little ball chandelier finishing off the decoration and the pocket door that closes the space down the wallpaper throughout as well i like it very much breaks out this continuous wooden panel theme that we have in chalets. And lastly, this private terrace. Thank you for tuning in, but I kindly ask you to stay tuned a little bit longer because we still have the ground floor with a swimming pool and TV room and so forth to show you. But yeah, this is the private terrace of the main bedroom on the fifth floor and it just has gorgeous views out. And it just makes me feel jealous that I can't be on the piss right now. So let's wrap it up and go downstairs. Come on. Now the main bedroom's floor is the only one that is not accessible by lift. But I just want to quickly point out once again how nicely the lift has been inbuilt. You've got the floor lighting as well, illuminating of the framing of the door. It's these little finer details that make this home very unique. And now, ladies and gentlemen, see you on the ground floor. <laughs> All right, guys, we usually start our property tours on the ground floor, but today we had to mix things up a little bit. So ground floor, this is also the level from the garage, which I would like to show you first. So let's turn the camera around. This would be the entry for you. I'll explain that later. Let's quickly look at the garage. Come on. Garage is super spacious, which I love. You can easily fit in four to five cars. Come here by, with your four by four. You got the LED trims indicating where to park. Got your firewood right there, cladded with wood. Already setting the tone of what to expect. Of course, some storage rooms here. And this would be the main entry to the house with the pivoting door. So let's jump in because you'd be entering the home, if not on skis, through this door. Now we kind of reversed everything today. This would be your entry foyer. Already a sheer elegance here, two-tone wood, cupboards. Drop your jackets in here. We're already getting a nice visualization of the painting. We've seen a lot of them throughout the entire house. This solid bench to sit down on, change your shoes, put them off. Rippled 
wall here also super nice the lighting is indirect and creating a scene already and a storage room super high this is the basement look how elegant yeah okay yeah, true <laughs> it's the ground floor but and the five floors so we've toured all of them it's amazing exactly and what i might have missed out thank you for reminding me you have different light switches so you can have the main lighting and then you press another button it dims the lighting so the entire how mood switches What's that here? behind or in front of me is the spa area let's check it out wow okay this is beautiful stone clad wooden ceiling light slots heated swimming pool jacuzzi chill lounge area music system fitted around this is the patio that we have already experienced once the idea is go into the sauna jump into the patio cool off Here's the sauna, let's actually quickly give it a look. Yes, we are avid sauna goers. Of course, for those who like the steam baths more, there are a few like you, by the way, a shower here. You would have the steam room slash hammam right here. And you got this pearl tining, which is super shiny and elegant. Cool, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, of the spa area. Just quickly want to point out, once again, the full ceiling here, the LED lighting, everything super, super nice. And yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go back upstairs and finish the tour, but not before we show you a really cool room, which is right here. Let's jump into it. I love it when cinema rooms are completely isolated from the rest. And this is super elegant. We've got textile on the walls to absorb the sound. The paneling here has been created so that it puts the focus onto the TV as well as hide the indirect lighting that we have. Massive couches. Of course, you're going to be 14 guests here, but they can all find a space here. We got a carpet on the flooring as well. Super comfortable couches. And Patrick and I are going to be watching Batman today here or play the PlayStation 5, one of both. But kudos, this is an amazing cinema room. It's cozy, it's warm, and it smells so nice and new. <laughs> now, before we leave this area, I just want to point out that we have a guest toilet here, and I'm gonna walk in because it is very beautiful. One thing, vanity, got the panels on the wall. Here we got stone clad more art and paint throughout the art and the painting here is are very beautiful now i'm going to take the stairs up i'm not patrick well i just want to show focus on the staff we're already standing here once again the indirect lighting the also this wall has been cut in the shape of the stairs are you and then the wall paneling there with the art light fixtures it's just gorgeous, no? I know, I know, it is. Right, I'm gonna take the elevator. My legs hurt from all the skiing and walking and touring and showing you guys beautiful chalets here in the French Alps. So see you upstairs. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to another Mauer Brothers property tour. We are hopeful that you guys like the chalet series that we have created. Big thank you to Consensio Chalets. They've been great help they've organized all these luxurious chalets and if you're looking to rent one a chalet or a luxury apartment use the link in our description to access to the web page and trust me you will not regret it you'll have a fantastic holiday in the french alps with that said ladies and gentlemen last words to you patrick from the distance that's his goodbye and see you next week